What's up everyone? This is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we're going to continue rolling through with our tutorial series. But I hope you guys are kind of excited on what we were able to build in the previous tutorial. Because if you guys just look at it, we have an image and all of a sudden it's gone. I mean, I think that's pretty sweet. But if you're getting any kind of errors or if your browser is crashing or anything like that, the reason it might be happening is because as I said before, this set interval there's nothing stopping this set interval. It's, and we need to do something called a clear interval because this will just keep going and going and going and going no matter what. So even though the image is gone, this is still subtracting one to our opacity over and over and over again. That's actually a very, very big problem. So in order to fix that, we are going to have to clear the interval when we have an opacity that is less than zero. We can say equal equal to zero, but the problem with that is, I know that might make sense to you, but let's say our opacity is one, and each time we subtract 0.1 from the opacity. So you would think it would go 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, but it actually doesn't. It goes 0 0.9, 0 0.0000001, 0 0.8, 0 0.000, and then it becomes like this huge number. So if you actually check for if the opacity equals zero, it will never equal zero. So it's actually easier to check once the opacity is less than one, then stop the interval. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to say something like if opacity opacity is less than zero then we want to clear the interval so if the opacity is less than zero we want to clear this interval but we have a problem the way that you clear an interval is you need to talk about this interval so in here we actually have to pass a, uh, we have to pass like basically like the name of this interval so somehow we are going to have to talk about this interval so that when um so that when javascript sees this clear interval he will know okay what interval do you want me to clear and you can say oh this one so the way we do that is let's create a new variable up here and let's say var and let's say out listener and let's assign it to null. Okay? So now let's say out listener right here before set interval is assigned. So what this is saying is if we want to talk about this interval, we will talk about this out listener. But we can't just say out listener here because we don't have it passed here. We, he wouldn't know what that out listener variable is. So all we do is we take out listener and we come over here and we paste it in here and then we can clear the interval here so now we oh and we also have to pass it through our parameter and now it should be blue now we are good so what this is saying is once the opacity is less than zero so it'll go like point one zero 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 whatever and then it'll go point zero 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 whatever and then it will go negative zero 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 point one once it hits that number stop the interval don't do it anymore so that's what we just wrote so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little error checking on this and after this I'm going to add another semicolon here and I'm going to say alert interval stopped so what this would do is if this were correctly the interval would be cleared and then it would only say interval stopped once if this wasn't working correctly then it would keep telling us interval stopped because the interval would keep happening so let's first check if it works so let's refresh the page let's click fade out and then it says interval stopped we click OK and it doesn't say interval stopped ever again so that means that this loop has stopped now let's take out clear interval let's just let's just uh, comment it out because I want to prove to you guys that I know what I'm talking about <laughs> So, let's go back here, refresh the page, click fade out for me. Interval stopped, click OK. Interval stopped, click OK. Interval stopped, click OK. Interval stopped. You see this? It is continually doing the interval over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it will never, ever stop because the interval will always be less than zero. So, we take this out, we save this, and we try to refresh this page oh my lord see what I did here guys I just blew up uh, Chrome um, so I'm going to uh, close this window K 
Can't even do that. Well, you guys get the gist. When we had clear interval, it worked, and when we took it out, it so did not work. It's just going to keep sending me those alerts, so I'm going to have to end task on that browser. But I hope this makes sense to you, so you guys see now that you need this clear interval in order for this to work. So, all you needed to do was make these two fade out functions, and then you have your set opacity function, and now you guys have done exactly what jQuery has done. And all you need to do in order to utilize it is just say, fade out, have the div you want to fade out, and the amount of time you want it to fade out. So in the next tutorial, we're going to quick run through all that we need to do for fade in. So honestly, we are just going to copy all this fade out stuff, paste it in fade in, and just change the numbers here and there to make it all work. I want to make the tutorial for it just to make sure that if it doesn't work for you guys, you guys can reference it and make sure it's working for you. So I hope you guys are really excited because you've just made something really cool and now you can do it on any website you want and all you have to do is reference this fade out link. So I hope you guys are happy with what you've learned and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial and thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.